I'm Keisha Ariel and I'm the founder of Here We Grow and in today's video we are gonna talk all about hair loss, hair shedding, hair thinning and hair growth issues. So with no further ado let's jump right into it. Okay so when it comes to these four topics right hair loss, hair thinning, hair shedding, hair growth issues I have found myself using all of these terms interchangeably not knowing that they are four different kinds of hair issues. So we're going to talk about them, identify them and start using them accordingly, okay? So let us first talk about hair loss. What is hair loss? So hair loss is the progressive thinning of the hair which leads to partial or full baldness over time. And what typically would trigger hair loss would be um, dehydrotestosterone which is a hormone or a chemical in the body which naturally produced by the body also triggered by certain foods that you do eat you know which leads to androgenic alopecia which is male or female baldness. Also what can trigger hair loss could be any autoimmune diseases, medications and certain illnesses. Now as I've mentioned in previous videos right the sooner you identify what is causing your hair loss issues once you eliminate that from your um, your routine your diet whatever it is this can be treated now if it's left untreated over time it can become permanent but i strongly believe right that even if you had left it for a long time there are ways in still there are ways in which you can still um, get your hair to come back, okay? Grow back. So that would mean you have to change your diet to incorporate a lot of foods that promote hair growth that is rich in certain minerals and nutrients, should I say nutrients altogether, that will help to um, encourage hair growth. So all is not lost if you're experiencing hair loss, okay? As long as you are willing to put that time and that effort in, your hair will grow. So don't let anyone make you feel like, oh, because I'm experiencing hair loss, I will never get my hair back. That is absolutely false. The only thing is that you have to be ready and committed to the, um, the uh the process to the journey so even using hair oils like the hair we grow hair oil or even using our hair and body butter that can help okay but you have to also be very realistic with yourself to say you know what hmm i've been dealing with this for a very long time i have not um, attempted to treat this issue for a very long time so I have to be very realistic in knowing that it will take um, some time before I may see results and topical application is not the only thing you're gonna need to focus on you have to focus on internal application of the right foods to make sure you're taking in the right nutrients etc. Now hair shedding is when a person loses more hair than normal often suddenly due to the hair growth cycle. Now I know hair loss and hair shedding might sound very similar but it's actually different. Hair loss is usually caused by some chemical reaction that's happening inside your body or any disorders or any illnesses that will cause your hair to leave. And it's also, again, the progressive thinning that leads to partial or full baldness. Hair shedding is when your hair has reached to its, um, it's reached, it's, oh, get my words out. It reaches, oh, <laughs> it reaches, the um, the shedding phase in the hair growth cycle and I believe there's four to five stages in the hair growth cycle right and we know we have the growth phase we have the um, shedding phase the resting phase and then the phase just before it goes back into the um, the anagen phase which is the growth cycle phase right so shedding is different to hair loss this is when your hair is just reached its capacity in the hair growth cycle and it starts to shed. Now there can be certain um, instances, uh, incidents in your life that can trigger that. So you can think about 
pregnancy, we all have heard about postpartum shedding. And as we know, during pregnancy, women, the anagen phase of the hair growth cycle is at its max. Your hair grows so long and nice and it looks beautiful. But then after pregnancy, because the hormone levels have changed, the shedding phase comes and we lose a lot of hair. Yes, I know all about that beautiful <laughs> traumatic phase, okay? <laughs> Nonetheless, um, other things that can trigger that could be um, thyroid um, dysfunctions, um, etc. So hair shedding and hair loss are different. So I know I have been guilty of using um, hair loss and hair shedding interchangeably, but they're actually two different things. Hair shedding, once again, is due to the hair growth cycle. You have reached the shedding phase of the hair growth cycle and you're starting to shed your hair. But there are times when you lose a lot all of a sudden, i.e. postpartum shedding. So after speaking about hair loss and hair shedding, what is hair thinning, right? Because I have used all of these words interchangeably, okay? Now, hair thinning is the gradual decrease in thickness or in the diameter of individual hair strands that is on our scalp, which gives the appearance of less dense hair, okay? So we've heard about hair density we have high density low density medium density etc so thickness or thinness hair thinning deals with the thickness of the individual hair strands and this can be caused by genetics aging poor nutrition etc so again if you have been guilty like me and i've used all these three words interchangeably thinking they're the same thing it is not hair thinning is not the same as hair loss and hair loss is not the same as hair shedding they are three different things now what is hair growth issues so hair growth issues refer to conditions diseases or other factors that disrupts the hair growth cycle which leads to shedding thinning bald patches or even slow growth rate so if we think about it hair growth issues is like the umbrella under which all of these fall but they also have their different categories and different meanings so we want to think about how we're caring for our bodies internally because yes topical application can assist with hair growth and also assist with um what you call it um hair loss thinning shedding etc but when we um, use these terms we have to understand that they all mean something different hair loss hair thinning and hair shedding are three different categories but it can come under the umbrella of hair growth issues because all of these factors do affect hair growth again hair loss hair growth your hair is not growing or hair shedding you are reaching your um, shedding stage too quickly what is the underlying issue that is causing this and also what did i mention thinning shedding and thinning let me look at my notes thinning shedding and hair loss okay so again the difference between hair loss and hair thinning is simply the fact that hair thinning has to do with the thickness of your hair strands it's not getting enough nutrients which will make the hair strands shrink 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 and can lead to hair loss which is when the hair strand detaches something is not happening in the follicles to make your hair grow and stay okay and hair shedding is when it comes to the end of the hair growth cycle so they are all different okay but they come under the umbrella of hair growth issues and this can be fixed due to our diet and also our external hair care routine now common issues with the hair growth cycle um, could include damage to follicles um, nutritional deficiencies hormonal changes 
poor circulation, medication, and medical conditions that impact the scalp and hair health. Okay, so when we are able to identify these things and target these things, we can eliminate any issues that can cause us to experience hair loss, hair thinning, or hair shedding. Okay, so with that, I hope you found today's video very informative and if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a big massive thumbs up, drop a comment and let me know what are your thoughts and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and until the next video, we will see you in the next one.